What's going on, people? This is Jagos, and I wanted to talk about something that recently came up that was absolutely fucking retarded. Capcom is fucking retarded. I wanted to sit here and just gripe about this because this is an actual sale that Capcom is running. I mean, they're actually running this damn thing. And you're going to sit here and you're going to see everything that's going to happen in the next few seconds. Now, look look what it says. Capcom DLC sale. You already know. If you've heard anything about Capcom in the last few months, you already know what's going to happen with this DLC sale. But I'm going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to show you everything. You all just sit here, sit tight, because we're going to go through it. The Devil May Cry, all DLC bundle, that's 75% off, $337. Okay, now we got the DMC, Devil May Cry. I'm not going to go through all this. You, you can see it right there. DMC, Devil May Cry, Virgil's Downfall, 75%, 224. Okay, Resident Evil, All Modes Pack, 325. Resident Evil, Revelations, All DLC Pack, 250, 250, 250. All right, we're going to go through Super Street Fighter 4, which I would actually pick up because I actually have the game. You're getting everything for 50% off because why is everything else is 75% off, but this is only 50% off. I, I haven't quite figured that out. $7.49 for the whole costume pack. That's all these brawlers, blah, 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 blah. Lost Planet, all DLC pack, 76% off. It, it went up a little, it went up a little bit. $6.95. I guess that game didn't sell quite as well. Street Fighter Cross Tekken, full DLC pack. All 12 characters, Street F Swap costumes, $10.00. So, $10 and for 10 Whoppers. Remember me, Combo Lab Pack. Does anybody remember this damn game? No. A dollar. A dollar, a dollar, whatever. Resident Evil Biohazard 6, $39.99. Lost Planet 3, $49.99. Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. To play it on your Steam PC, $29.99. Resident Evil Revelations, $49.99. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. $29.99. Remember me that nobody remembers. $49.99. Devil May Cry. $49.99. Okay, now remember what this says. Capcom DLC sale. I'll be right back. So basically, Capcom is running a fucking sale on just the DLC to make sure that anybody that wants to get the fucking game has to pay full price for the game and then get a little d cheap discount on the DLC. Now, this is something that you can see in almost any other industry. Let's go ahead and let's compare it to the car industry right now. What this is basically doing is, if you want to pay $15,000 for a new fucking car, you're going to sit here and you're going to get a little bit of an incentive to, s to sweeten the deal a little bit. Maybe a PS3, maybe a PS4. Like back in the day when the PS2 was the big thing, they were actually giving away PS2s if you got a new car that was over $10,000. Now, nothing in the world makes any goddamn sense if you're just sitting here and selling DLC for a cheap in price and then ha expecting people to pay the full price on the regular fucking game. Nobody has these games, and yet you're just sitting here and saying, well, we just want to give this to the people that already have the game and may already have the DLC. Capcom has lost its fucking mind. I cannot believe that anybody that is looking into DLC in any way, shape, or form is actually sitting here and considering a sale like this. I cannot believe that Capcom is going through with their DLC strategy. My God, how in the world do you are you so inept at what you're doing that you don't understand how to sit here and have a price deduction on the regular fucking game? You just want to do it on DLC. Really? Really, Capcom? What in the hell are you doing? I mean, there's already the $15 for the Ultra Street Fighter 4 um, video game. There's already all of these crazy inane things... People know that you're making 150. You only have 157 million dollars in the bank. You don't have the engines or anything to run a next-gen system. 
you're sitting here and nickel and diming your people to death, your customers, your fan base to death to sit here and push them into other games. Because, quite frankly, if you're part of the fighting game community on the Steam, you have a lot of different options right now. You have King of Fighters 13. You have, um, I believe, Skullgirls is coming up pretty good. You have a great tutorial mode with the Skullgirls. Now, I don't sit here and I'm not part of the fighting game community, but I sit here and I try to learn a little bit about them. The fact of the matter is, when you're sitting here and you're looking at games to be playing, who the hell is going to sit here and buy a game if the DLC is the only thing that's on a cheap discount? And for crying out loud, Capcom knows that the Street Fighter games are some of their best sellers and they're trying to just give them a 50% discount on just that one. All of the other DLCs, all of them, were actually a lot cheaper because those games weren't as well known, particularly for Remember Me. You're expecting people to pay $49.99 for a game that nobody remembers. That is the grand fit of irony. And during all of this stuff, in terms of being a female protagonist, the one that has a girlfriend, and all of this other great crazy crap, you can't give anybody a deal on that game. Why? That's money in your pocket. Put that thing down to like $5 for just one day. Get some people to sit here and incentivize to play it because you know what? You all lost the marketing strategy on that when it first came out. And that game is just sitting there at $49.99 doing nothing for you while you all could be making some money on instead of a DLC sale, have a game sale, which I know that you all have done in the past, particularly for Steam, increase the fan base. The fighting game community would probably thank you if you actually gave them more incentive to get the Street Fighter games at a cheaper price right here, right now, instead of just a Capcom DLC sale. Who the fuck makes this shit up? Seriously. I, I just cannot believe it. I, I, I couldn't believe that Capcom, of all systems, they could not sit here and think with their brains that this DLC thing is going to sit down and hurt them. They should have been taking notes from EA that maybe DLC is not the way to go. But obviously, Capcom wants to be the Japanese EA. So, okay, I, you're on your own. You do the things that you want to do. Now, if anybody else wants to see this as something that really, really in, they enjoy, far be it for me to stop you. But I'm, I'm going to stay the hell away from this sale. I don't want to buy anything from it. You all can make your own decisions. I'm giving you everything that I know about this thing, and it's just one of the most asinine things that I've ever seen. Take care, YouTube, and I'll see you next time.